Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Prey. Where last time that may possibly have been my favourite moment of John Perception equals one we've had in the entire history of the channel. That was truly spectacular. Go and find the key card of the director of the hardware labs. Why? I wonder where that will be. Could it by any chance be in the office of the director of the hardware labs? On the guy who is the director of the hardware labs? No, 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 no. That's far too simple. It couldn't possibly be there. No, indeed. Right. You know what? Let's go back to that office and find that corpse. Because I'm moderately confident it's going to be somewhere. And if I'm going, then you're coming with me, friend turret. <laughs> right. Now, where is uh, the nasty, nasty phantom? He's around here somewhere. Where are you? Where have you got yourself to? This time, you're going up front. All right. You're going... There you go. You know what? Deploy. There we are. Deploying, and you totally know where there's a phantom. That's right, you just start shooting at the phantom. I'll stay at the back. And now, it's just got round the back of the turret, but that's fine. You know why? Because I've got a flipping shotgun, shotgun, and I accidentally screw you, screw you again. Marvellous. Well, got myself. Ooh, a weapon upgrade kit and three shotgun shells. Didn't even take a flipping ammo loss on that. The thing about this game is, while this game may kind of look like a horror game, it's actually more like an action game. So, like, it's not actually that you want to actually conserve ammo, because ammo is scarce or anything. Actually, if you're just diligent about, you know, like, looting corpses and collecting scrap and converting it into ammo, ammo is pretty plentiful. So, killing everything by murdering it with a shotgun is entirely workable. Now, that turret, can we now get it back up again? No, if I want that thing working again now, it's going to take three spare parts. I think this room's already mostly clear. So I'm okay with that. Let's just go back over to glue cannon. Yeah, I think we're all right for the minute. There is a demonstration stage here. Now, what exactly is this? All right, stand up. What have we got? I. Oh, well, I was about to say I don't see any enemies, but then you don't. Because they're very often disguised as not enemies. So that's not necessarily... And I definitely hear an enemy. Right, there's a phantom somewhere. Glue him, then shotgun him. With my new lovely, lovely, flipping lovely... And there's the game trying to teach you how to make, like, ramps with the glue. I don't need to be told. I figured it out, thank you. But yeah, with my new, more effective glue cannon, I'm gluing those things much faster. Now, that's a really good upgrade, because previously, it was really difficult to actually get enough glue on the phantoms quickly enough. They'd often get a shot off or they were done being glued. But now, it feels like they're actually, you know, they're pretty easy to actually get glued before they get their first shot off, which is much better. Now, where exactly is this guy that I can clearly hear? We've got a recycler marked down here, down below. This is the, ah, the area below the stage. Okay. This is the, ah, is this the basement? Yeah, presumably it is. We knew there was a basement and we've made it down there. That's cool. Right, we found ourselves a basement. And there's a recycler there. In all fairness, there's also a recycler in the bit I've already been to, so it's not that urgent. But if we can just lure him over here, wherever he is, we've got ourselves two explosive canisters. Where are you? But oh. Okay. Oh no, throwing does cause that thing to detonate. Right. Just not if it hits. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Glow, 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 glow. Right, you know what? Are you good? Yeah, I think you're good. Shotgun! Shotgun! And are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? No, you're not, but you're going to be soon! There you go. Aren't you taken care of? They hit bloody hard. It is a bit like horror gaming so far as the enemies hit really hard. This is flipping normal difficulty. This is the second easy difficulty. It started off with four. It was easy, normal, hard, or nightmare. This is flipping normal, and yeah, it does feel like just the slightest... Ooh... Mineral material, that is the nicest of the nice. Actually, you know what, I should probably start getting used to which stuff contains mineral. Because mineral seems to be the limiting factor, and mineral lets me produce um, ammo. So, if I know what junk contains mineral, I can prioritise always carrying it and never dropping it. So, I should probably start learning that. But, yes, there we are. Beautiful, beautiful materials for crafting. And glue canisters as well. I like this room. What is... Uh, a DFA. Ah, chipset. Now, I think I can install this because I've been taking, yeah, every time I take the um, the inventory upgrades, I actually get myself more slots for chipsets as well. So, actually, I've got loads of those. So, falling on an enemy or an ally will damage them. Well, don't fall on allies then, but yeah, we'll totally install that. Why not? So, yeah, now, uh, recyclers don't hurt me, though, admittedly, I've not even used one of those yet. 
I've got slightly more resistance to the long-range attacks of the Phantoms, which is good, I think, anyway. And yeah, now I can fall on enemies to damage them a bit, but I'm not sure how much damage that really truly does. Speaking of which, yeah, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Uh, bar hazard waste, good source of organic, understandable. Yeah, basic just crappy metal stuff is going to contain minerals. So yeah, there's actually 0.5 in that alone from a corroded coil. So big metally things are uh, going to contain that. Things like fried hard drives. Fine. Stuff that feels like it's... Ooh, frayed wire? One point... Oh no, that's presumably for all, all five. Fine. So basically stuff that's like computer equipment is going to give me the minerals. Got it. Meanwhile, yeah, pretty much you're dependent on the Typhon organs for exotic. Okay, well, you know what? Let's convert this into much more efficient stuff. Transfer the junk, recycle the junk, and that gives me... Ooh, yes, that's nice. I do seem to get a lot of synthetic. Synthetic is in plentiful supply. It's the other stuff that's not so much. Right, just grab all of that stuff, lovely. Just hold X over that and it just gets sucked up. It's very bloody convenient. And that means finally go up to the top here, and this is... Ah, we've got a dead person with yet another glue can, and that's fine. You, what was your story then? Go on then. All right, nothing too major there. This is... Ah, I think there's nothing here, but just a handful of... Ooh, hang on. Silence pistol. I'll take the ammo, don't need the pistol. Is this a... No, that's not a... Or if it is a safe, I see no way to open it, so maybe not. Right, more dead people. Yeah, dead people are well worth, like, hunting down. If you wanted to, using, the, like, the security terms to hunt down every single corpse is not a bad idea, because corpses have a better than average chance of having things like... Um, say neuromods on I have found the odd neuromod on a corpse. I'm not sure if it's fixed or if it's just kind of a bit randomised, but uh, certainly it does seem to be a little bit better than a random chance. This is going to... This is going to hurt me, isn't it? You know, I'm just get a bit closer. There we are. Very good. Ballistics lab and chemical lab. Now that, that sounds like just the sort of place I want to explore, damn it. So, exterior breach detected beyond this point. Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Have I got, I mean, I've got a jetpack, but do I actually have, like, a, a helmet or something? And can't get through there. Need the right keypad. Ooh. I want to get in there. The ballistics lab seems fun. Also, let's just quickly glue that to not be a problem anymore. Anything else here? Well, we've got ourselves one corroded coil. We know that's a good source of flipping materials. And you, a Amy? A that's a weird spelling of Amy. Damn future Amy's. Uh, ballistics. Ooh, keycard! Nice! Okay, I just wanted to get in there. Now I can. Now I'm happy. Now life is good. Right, in we go. Unlock lab. Go into stealth mode because uh, they're locked in there, right? I'm pretty sure they're locked in there. Oh, I like the sound of a ballistics lab. If I had to guess, that's a good thing. Yeah, you guys are sealed in here. Right. You can't get out. At least I don't think you can. No! Good, good. Nice and safe. They're going to burst out and jump scare me at some point. Absolutely 100% guaranteed. Ooh, organic material though. Right. Note, what have we got going on here? Recycler charge went off with my foot in range. Organic material that was once part of me is now neatly compacted into this sphere you see before you. Take heat. Oh, I just picked up the remains of somebody's foot. Right. So uh, basically a warning there. Be careful of the recycler charges. Got it. So pick those up. And... Uh, Ballistics chamber. Open the chamber or release recycler charge. And presumably, what I want to do is... Hang on. Chamber sealed. Recycle or... Ah, okay. So I can basically open it in order to release them and then just take them out myself. Or, if I want to plug in a recycler thing, I can actually um, cause these guys... Wait, hang on. Where's the... Here we go. Yeah, you know what? Go on. This seems fun. Uh, so, grenade container. Recycler charge. I will place that here. There we go. And then... I feel like that wasn't what I wanted to happen, actually. But you know what? I've got some minerals. <laughs> so that's fine. Release recycler charge. Uh, yes, do that. Is that... Was there one already in there? Was that... Was, was that what was that? Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know what? That's fine. We've turned mimics into things. Open the chamber. Now we've done that. I guess maybe one was already loaded. <laughs> right. So basically, yeah, a valuable lesson learned there. Exotic, mineral, synthetic, and a tiny bit of organic, but mainly about the materials. Yeah, if I want to use these things to actually... Ooh. Hello, we've got ourselves a... Uh... Ooh, level one. 
Level 1 safe, I like a save. Right, through here, and up, and up, and down, and down, and down, blah, 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 nice and simple. I like a level 1 save, open your karma, and I get myself nothing that, well, you know what, materials are good, materials mean ammo. Oh yeah, frayed wire times a million, this is all lovely, ooh, hang on, I can move this, great, screw you, go over there with that. I just managed to hurt myself with that bloody genius, but... This looks like an emergency cache. Ooh, for Lily, new code is 7029. I'm guessing that's for the safe I've already cracked open. Yes, indeed it was. Oh, but all the materials, so many materials. Oh, I'm so happy. Right, I think everything's good in here. I've got everything good out of there. Can't get out there yet, though. Can't get out there because, uh, yeah, there's been a bit of an exterior breach. And I'm guessing, therefore, wait, hang on. No, no, no. What I presumably need to do is, yeah, I need to come into there from the outside. Right. So if I was to go outside with my jetpack and I put on a proper spacesuit, I can now get into the chemical lab from there. Got it. Now, I unlock the door from this side and we've got a couple more broken down robots to take care of around here. Excuse me, guys, 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 come on. And glue, 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 glue. Apparently you don't care about being glued. Uh, you're fine, right? You know what? Just get you down. Yeah, and then run away because you're about to explode. Right, yeah. Getting a bit of glue on those guys. Definitely worth doing. Ah, but I think I triggered the metal detector. Are there more robots that are now going to be steaming in to take care of me? Seems to be all right for now. This is the... Yeah, this is the starting arrows in before. Lovely. So literally, if I just walked forward from where I'd started, I would have actually got to the security station right away. So that would have been good. Still, as long as you're pretty confident there's not much around, just as... Oh, dear. Right, you know what? You know what? Life is... Life is a bit... Ouch! You got your bloody laser, don't you? Right, go, 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 get back to the... There's no turret anymore. The turret broke. Right, that guy's over there, and now I can see him, because, yeah, you can see their attention meter through walls. He's somewhere over there. Don't think he's in here yet. Let's get some glue on you, Mr. Phantom. Though, just keep the well-fed bonus going on here. Just keep shoveling food down the hatch. And ouch, you bastard. But you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Go with a shotgun. Boom, boom. And then you, they try and get behind you all the flipping time. There you go. Down you go, you bastard. Yeah, actually, you should get used to that. If you glue them, then blast them, and then they nip behind you. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he resented you. Unfortunate. Wait, that was the director of the lab? Wait, I I already killed him. I killed him last... What? Well, then who was the guy I killed last time? Like, I know I killed someone in his office. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Wait, hang on. Is that... Is the corpse that was in his office still there, then? Because I saw it when I was editing. There was some... There was some goo over... Oh, there's more stuff here. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Screw you. There was, um... There was a blob over... Here. Or at least, I swear there was. I swear there was. There's... Now, maybe I'm just going to use this medical kit and, and just assume I'm going mad. But I, I saw him. I saw him. That was the same... I've killed him twice. That's odd, isn't it? I mean, you know what? I think I've therefore cleared out just about everything. We've got a locked door. There's clearly something still alive. We've got a locked door here. And then there's ah, a turret I could use here. Why is this door locked and how do I get... Can I get in through the security office? Hang on. No, it doesn't look like it. Security office seems to be... Oh, that does seem to be working. Fine, I can just hop in here. Weapon upgrade kit. Very nice. And some bullets too. Everything makes sense. Take the ammo as well. Don't take the uh, gun itself though. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. I've glued myself in. Genius. Right, no, come back. I see you over there. I'm pretty sure it's that box. Or the thing in front of that box. It's one of... No, it was the other box. It was the other box. It was the other box. Oh, no, I see you. I see you there. I see you there. No, 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 no. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Possibly it's... No, it wasn't you, it was something else entirely. You know what? Boom. 
death to you. This game is basically a game of how perceptive are you? And unfortunately, the answer for me is not desperately. Now, with this lovely terminal here, this is useful. We've got ourselves, ooh, silenced pistol ammo fabrication pad. Already got that, I'm pretty sure, but what have you. Right, so we've got crew, we've also got utility. So an area map, yep, download that, that is bloody useful. And with that I can see, have I missed anything? Well, we've got Dr. Calvino's workstation. We've got the basement we've already been into. We've been up to level two. There's the, ah, so there's something upstairs from the atrium, upstairs from where the elevator is. I haven't been to yet, fine. So there's some extra rooms up there. There's also going outside, which is how I can get into the chemical lab. Then I can just come back inside again. Then there's Dr. Calvino's workstation as well. Uh, and also, unlock the security locker, yep. That seems like a useful thing to do. Unlock that for me. Thank you. So, back upstairs we go with the lovely little wibbly wibbly elevator. Very nice. You had a burnt circuit board on you. And the game suddenly starts playing the dramatic music. Someone just leaned on the eerie key. And I'm not quite sure why, to be honest, because I just used an elevator. Not the scariest thing in the world. Right, beams and wave slab. But also combustibles. Ah, we've got another problem here then. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum, no gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. Right, so if I want beams and... If I want beams and something, or indeed if I want to get into the chemical lab, both of those exterior only. Fine. So, I think we know what we're doing now. We're going out into flipping space. And then, wait. Okay. I'm sorry. But Dr. Lorenzo Calvino is not in space, alright? We've already killed him, like, twice. At wait, hang on. Wait, Dr. Lorenzo Calvino? Wait, why do we want Dr. Lorenzo Calvino? Who's... who's he? Dr. Calvino is located in the breached hallway outside the station. I need to get to an airlock in order to reach... I thought I... Then who are the two people... You know what? Never mind. Maybe we just go out into space. So, Dr. Lorenzo Calvino is apparently outside because the person who I thought was the Doctor wasn't the Doctor. And apparently the second person I thought was the Doctor also wasn't the Doctor. So screw it, sooner or later we'll find him. Microgravity, your transdoor suit is equipped with a propulsion system. Yes, I know, I installed it myself. Navigate harsh environment to space. Navigate in zero G, we can thrust or boost the thrust and break as well. Ascend and descend and roll. Lovely. Oh, it's going to be proper... 3D no way is correct up way, isn't it? Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Right, so away from this for a second. Hang on, hang on. Let's just back away here. I can just do very gentle thrust just with like light taps on the analog stick. Now, I know for a fact that if I go over here, yeah, if I go over here, I'm gonna find two separate open areas. There's the chemical lab that was open. That was downstairs though. And there's this bit up here, which is apparently what I want. Do I still have my torch? I do still have my torch. That's right. So, up here. Ah, possibly. The two are directly above and below each other. So, that's nice. So, it's technically the same area at the minute. So, in here, Dr. Lorenzo Calvino, supposedly. Oh, no, sorry. That was just pulling me towards him, right? Dr. Lorenzo Calvino. Now, this time, this time, are we 100% sure that this is the correct guy? Because I really flipping hope so. Because, uh, okay. Now, I don't know who the last two guys were. <laughs> Still, we have got Neuromod times two. Ah, his key card. Very, very useful indeed. Nice. Jeremy wants to chat. Not surprising. Well done. That was a bit of an unnecessary call there, Jeremy. Whatever. So, we've also got here, looks like a breach fail safe. So, I might be able to, what, like bring down emergency shutters or something? You know what? Screw it. Let's see what this does. So, breach access. Yeah. What did that even just do? Access the beams and wave slab. Okay, that's cut through to... Here. What did that... I'm not sure what I just did. I just spent some spare parts doing something to over this. But I don't know what it was. Also, I need to roll slightly because I've been knocked around by the materials here. So I think that's all we've really got out of here. But the game is also flagging... A variety of good old human corpses. <laughs> so, you know what? Why not, eh? So, in which case, uh, thrust over towards a human corpse that's just floating out here in the nothingness. Oh! Flip! Flip! Careful! Right. 
How did you get out here? I don't think it went well for you. Right, stop. Bit forward. So, Charisma Kuhan. Good name. Uh, I will take your EMP charge and your med kit. Because, to be honest, I think it might actually be just a little bit late for you. And yeah, I can't get into various airlocks right now because they're locked. So I need to unlock them from the inside before I can do that. Makes sense. Ooh, and there's the moon. I like the moon. The moon's a good thing. It's like my favourite giant thing that orbits Earth. Ah, I see. Because I fixed that outside, now I've restored air not to that bit, because that bit's blown up, but now I can access the corridor within it, so now I can get through to a different lab inside. Got it. Right, in we go, through the rings like we're playing Bioshock 1, and back inside, I think. Marvellous, just a quick trip outside on this occasion. Nothing too major, but... We've done everything we need to do. And now we're nicely back inside. But as I've kind of unloaded and reloaded the level, I kind of half expect more flipping mimics to show up at this point. So <laughs> that's probably going to happen. Right, back upstairs, because now I'm pretty sure through here. And are we going to play the dramatic music again this time, game? Yeah, no? Nope, on this occasion, not in fact. Beautiful. Just keep basically eating food. Basically be constantly eating food. If you're just constantly eating food, you basically never need to use med kits. Because everything's fine. So yeah, now I've cleared out this hallway. Yep, perfect. Because this place didn't have oxygen, but now it does or something. But yeah, combustibles and below it chemicals, still inaccessible. But this area, perfectly fine. So now I can get in here and... I don't trust this room one little bit. Let's just figure out what I'm looking at first. So the Q-beam console. Please ensure a super target is in range before commencing firing test. Firing test must be limited to three seconds or less. Right. Open up that. And now we've got... Oh, oh, this seems good. This seems good. That seems like that was... Oh, that feels like that was actually a good thing. Right up to the point where it went wrong. Right, because you were totally in there. Right, now... Now what I need to do is lure that guy. If he just wants to walk back in there... Go on, walk back in there. Walk back in there. Go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, never mind, we'll just do the more traditional way. Boom, 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 boom. Ouch, 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 screw you. Right, you know what? Right, shotgun, and then he's going to teleport behind me. No, you don't. I'm wise to your tricks now. Oh, yes. I know how to deal with you, you bastards. There we go. Oh, there's more yet. There's more yet. There's more yet. What exactly is a Q-beam when it's over? I don't think I've actually got one of these yet. So, uh, yeah, go on then. I'll have you. Take that. Ooh. Okay. I'm so glad I've got a Q-beam. Q-beam fires a concentrated beam of unstable particles that will eventually cause the target to explode. All right. Life is suddenly good. I'm very glad I bothered to come this way. And that thing... Oh, that fills up quite a bit of space, mind. But uh, hopefully it's good. As someone, I probably have to start making choices about what I do and don't want to carry around. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, right now I'm carrying around all of the weapons. I feel like probably I don't need quite all of them. What I do most certainly like an awful, awful lot is the glue gun's already fully upgraded. I'm pretty sure I can't do any more with that. No, can't do any more with that. I like my shotgun too. Can I? Yeah, I can slightly improve my shotgun. I do like my shotgun. So how about reload speed, recoil. Let's go for recoil and ammo capacity. You know what? An upgraded shotgun is a friend forever. Lovely. But yeah, the way more important thing is this thing here, which is, one, we've got you in here. I don't think you can actually get in here, can you? No. I'm not sure you can actually phase through this door. And I don't have the key card, so I can't open this door. I wouldn't mind opening this door. Uh, by any chance... Wait, hang on. Where was the... Where was the corpse of this one? You didn't have that on you, did you? No. No, you didn't. So where's the key card? So let me get in there. Ah, wait. When it says it can dissolve objects... Does it mean including things like this grate? Alright, Q-beam, impress me. So... No, it does not mean things like that object. I've just wasted a huge amount of Q-beam charge. Well then, you Lane Carpenter, you get to live for now. I cannot figure out the mystery of your room. In which case, on to Dr. Calvino's workshop. Because at this point, we found three corpses, all of which I've thought have been Dr. Calvino. So sooner or later, one of them actually is going to be him. 
And apparently a whole bunch of phantoms have just actually respawned in over here. You know what, that's fine. I don't need to kill every single flipping phantom. I'm very happy. Let's just head over in this direction. And we've got to... Oh, dear. Right, so apparently I do need to take care of every single flipping one. Right, no, 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 no. Screw you. Right, go over to this. Excuse me. Ouch! Oh, there's more behind. Screw you. Okay, valuable lesson learned at this point. Ooh, hello. How about instead of actually attacking, we simply sneak off this way. Quick as you like. You know what? Don't need to fight everything. Like, generally these guys, if you do well, you can end up, like, ammo neutral. There's no need to fight absolutely all of them. Through here, into this room. This leads me into the maintenance shaft that takes me back into the machine lab. Then, I just drop down in here, go through the one, yeah, then the maintenance hatch right here. This maintenance hatch brings me up to Dr. Calvino's workshop. Now, get in here without anyone being upset with me. Marvellous. Oh, he does have a computer up here with multiple emails. Custom travel mug, Dr. Calvino. Okay, I'll get right on that from Mary. Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. Empty, of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put in a good word to Dr. Thorstein. Ah! Dr. Thorstein! That was who I killed, which is different to Calvino. The thing about Calvino and Thorstein is they have completely different letters and don't sound in any way the same. Also, there was just a big boom. Should, should I be worried about the big boom that just happened? No? Alright, good. So, looking glass console, this is, ah, this is a concern. No flipping power. Right, okay, power clearly goes over here. Power needs to be turned on. Screen right here. Hello there. Power things up. Power up looking glass. And are we good? Yep, we've got ourselves an actual working thing here. Nice. Need to figure out which server's gone wrong here. Because clearly something's gone wrong with one of the servers. So, which one is it? There we are. A server is offline. Restore the connection. Boom. as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. So now we just need to basically yeah, sprint back through here. I've done all of this puffing getting into that final bit of the lab, which I'm not sure how you're actually supposed to do. Genuinely, I'm not sure. Right. Problem is, there's possibly... Ooh. There's multiple phantoms upstairs. Right. But I think there's actually two phantoms upstairs to only one downstairs. So I'm actually going to go downstairs again. Because where is the downstairs phantom? If I can just avoid him. If I can just make it over to the door here. I think we're actually... Yeah, I think they're actually upstairs. Right. Through here. Through here. And probably at this point we're pretty safe just to make... Uh, run for it. Yep, screw it. I'm pretty happy with this area. Whatever has just noticed me hasn't noticed me that much. On we go. And here we are back in the flipping lobby. Oh, it's nice back. Ooh, and basically, if you're ever running past a flower, just grab it. Because flowers are excellent sources of organic and organic keeps your glue gun going. So, better and flipping better all around. And we've got, ooh, ooh, hello, hello, hello. We've got bad things. Okay, we've got bad things. We've got bad things over here. Oh, dear. We've got several bad things, actually. Wait, what? What the? Oh, we also, by the way, don't have... Ouch! Screw you. Screw, screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. What even are you? You're like a spiky one. Okay. Need to take out the little ones first. Oh, dear. Right. No. No. Okay. Prepare to be ambushed on your way back to your office. Got it. Also, it's moments like this that make me very, very sad I took the turret out of my office and moved it somewhere else. Because it would have been useful right about now. Now you... What are you? You are a spiky one. You're different somehow. Okay. That's intriguing. Right. Come over here, why don't you? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, there's two of you. There's actually multiple of the spiky use, which is a concern because problems. Right. And then just... Oh, you are... Okay. You basically, you're a lot tougher then, aren't you? Right, okay. 
Presumably you still have to come this way though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Glue cannon. Glue cannon. Plenty of... A uh, bit of glue in the glue cannon. Right. Okay. I may have killed one of them already. And just go. Go, 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 go. I don't think he's got the projectile though. Which is interesting. Boom. 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 And almost dead. Right, reload faster. Reload faster! Yay! Yeah, there you go. Critical attack against whatever the hell one of them was. Right. So, big spiky phantoms are nasty. Oh, oh! Also, when they die, they leave behind fizzly things, and fizzly is bad. Okay, watch out for the fizzly. Now, I do need to watch that thing now I've fixed the looking glass. Let's see what the rest of the message is, because the rest of the message, uh, I specifically warned myself I wasn't going to like what I was about to say. And what is that going to be, because I didn't get it last time. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds. But you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to Mom and Dad with his tail between his legs. So, it's up to you now. Good luck. I told you you wouldn't like it. Alright, I assume January's got something to say about that in that case. Ah, January! Hey Hello! I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos 1, but none of them are like me. And she has literally got January written on her Are sides you? there. Okay, that's cute. Hello! I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos 1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you'll need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main list and all the labs. Ah, finally! A key card! Good! Could have done with that a long time ago, to be honest. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the lift from here. There's another route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Please be careful. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Okay, and what, one neuromod? Oh, thank you for your wonderful, wonderful single neuromod, you bloody useless. Right, detour, enter psychotronics, but I've now got the general key card. Now, I believe uh, that logically means all the local doors uh, I should be able to open. Potentially now, therefore finally, granting me access to Bellamy. Oh, hello. No, 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 that's my turret. It's fine. Everything in here is fine. So I've got my turrets. Right, hello there. No matching key cup. Still nothing. Still useless. Vice president of the company should be allowed to go more places than I'm allowed to go. Okay, hang on. Let's think about this a different way. This room belongs to Hendrik de Vries. Let's find Hendrik de Vries on this thing. There's Hendrik de Vries. No life signs. I think we've just got ourselves something we need to do here. He's... Dead in the lobby, but 410 meters in that direction. Why do you get the feeling he's... Oh, yeah. He's 100% in the Arboretum then. Fine, so I can't get that corpse yet anyway. Darn it. Okay, but security, security office. I am supposed to be allowed access through to this one with my key, right? Yes, okay. My general key can at least get me here. So in here we go. Security station. This is useful. And huge amounts of messages saying help, help, continue help. And keypad. Setting up a reoccurring task for setting Morgan's keypad. We're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan asks us what the current code is. Asks if it was requested or if we chose it. Asks us for a new one. It's unusual. Ah, because I keep going. Yeah, but why was I being repeatedly allowed to wander around acting as vice president with no one remembering who I was? That seems weird. 
That seems so weird and wrong to me. Right! Shotgun! Okay, so probably, if you don't know the version that gives you the pre-order bonus, which I just sort of have, um, then, uh, yeah, this will be where you get the shotgun. Probably your first shotgun. So, uh, yeah, sorry, your version of the game may be slightly harder than the one I've just experienced. Oh, blimey, this would all be very, very nasty without a flipping shotgun. Right, crack this open and... Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm just going to assume. I'm just going to assume that you're a mimic, all right? You know what, screw it. I'm taking toughness one. I feel like I need more health. You take a lot of knocks in this game and they hit you pretty damn hard. And I can unlock the... Ah! I can unlock the shuttle bay. Well, that's flipping useful, because I know for a fact there's a survivor in here. Here you are, Emmanuel de Silva. I know for a fact she's in the shuttle bay. And I've got myself a way to access the shuttle bay. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Don't forget the... Oh, I like udon noodles. I do enjoy udon noodles. Yes, I'm glad I've got that. Right, let's head in here and find you. I want to go find an actual survivor, damn it. It'd be nice to speak to a living person that's not just a robot version of my previous self. Ooh, hello. What the bloody hell is that? Ooh, I'm in my space suit. And what the bloody hell are you? You're weird. Well, apparently there's a flipping survivor in here, but I'm beginning to doubt it. I mean, hazardous conditions and there's monstrosities wandering everywhere. Actually, the game is saying that's just a... A turret, but a hostile one. Right. What the bloody hell are you? Oh. It's it's two turrets on a... Oh, what the... What the... Wait, what the bloody hell are you? Right, it's... It's a giant, terrifying thing that carries around two turrets on its side. Gotcha. Well, that's fine, because it's clearly a machine. And I've got EMP grenades and all sorts of other good stuff. And also, I'm going to need to use the long-range stuff, really. Yeah, you know what? Pistol, Q-beam, and... Oh, yeah, I've got flipping nine EMP charges right now. Let's go for some of that nonsense. It's around the corner over there. Now, prepare for max. Yep, yeah, there we are. Toss it as far as possible. As soon as that thing comes back around the corner, we hit it with that. And then we go straight into... Boom. And that has done at least some good work. And now we are going to disintegrate that thing using... You know what? Just go for go for pistols, go for pistols, pistols, pistols. What are you doing? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, it's it's quite on the tough side. And, and it's... Oh, bloody... What the hell is this thing? What the... Heck, right, okay, you know what? No, no, go over to more... No, more, more EMP charges. You can... Right. And maybe a little bit uh, underarmed for this thing. You know, maybe. Maybe this is about the sneaking. This is about the sneaking, not the murdering. Right. It's going over in that direction. Which is actually kind of bad, because that's basically kind of towards Emanuela, which is the one way I actually want to flipping go. So that's a shame. So Emanuela de Silva, still 50 meters in that direction. This doesn't cut through anywhere. But I can potentially just use this as a place to hide uh, from the horrendous thing. Wherever the bloody hell that is now. And can I actually climb up to... Ooh. Can I climb up onto here? Fine. But I'm guessing that all of this isn't actually like, you know, real. Ah! I can get up behind this, having shattered it. And then up we come. Up top. Nice! Okay. There we go. Bear in mind, looking glass stuff, you can always just skip around it. And now, now I'm much closer to Mr. Silver. Lovely. Right, drop down here and then, oh, oh. I really hope I want to be in this room because I've just fallen into it. Are we good for now? You know what? I'm just going to take all of this stuff and... Shuttle control room key card. Well, you know what? I at least partly want to be in here. I've got myself a shuttle control room key card. Suit repair kit fabrication plan. That is welcome. So, I've managed to bypass my way, yeah, by going up top. A little bit deeper in, possibly. I might not have been able to access this room otherwise. Good. Yeah, I've kind of looped around the outside of where I started. Good, good, good. And now, if I head over in... She's downstairs. Hmm. Interesting. So I need to find a way down if I want to find Emanuela da Silva. But we're getting closer to her. 
slowly, surely, we're getting closer to her. Also, just grab myself this here lemon. You're not around here, are you, wherever that bloody monstrosity is? No, he's not here. Everything's fine. Everything's probably fine. There she is, 31 metres in that du- Wait, 31 metres in that direction? That looks like it's outside. But she's supposed to be a living one. I want to find a bloody survivor, damn it. Oh, I found the staircase down, good. I'm going exactly the right direction. Down is where I want to go. Manuel de Silva, just 30 metres away. And I've got the stairs to the right level. I'm in the escape pod with Emanuela de Silva. We're stuck in the launch tube. The hatch on the outside is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. We have gone ourselves a flipping rescue mission, right? But don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. Okay. Make sure to remove hatch, then pull lever, but first need to get flipping outside. Talos 1 exterior is a bit of a way in that direction by the looks of things. So in which case, what's all this in here? So, here we are. Emmanuel de Silva, do not push this button. Alright, I've got to go and do something else first. We've located Emmanuel de Silva, that's great. She's presumably like... Far side of this or something, right? Yep, fine. Right, let's use the pods I know are safe to do some tests here. So, we've got a pod here. I'm going to push a button. The button simply... Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Right, well, that's fine. We've murdered you, so everything's okay. So, the button simply opens up the pod, except that one broke. Fine. If I'm in the pod, however, would that be a nice, easy way to get myself outside? So, close the thing. Alright, initialize the launch, because this will get me outside, presumably. So now, if I just pop outside, I'll be able to help out these two people. Well, that's just not useful, okay? Nope, all four escape pods that can actually have the doors open and closed are experiencing a malfunction. No way to skip outside like that, I just need to find myself a proper airlock. Which is actually on the same level I'm on, I just need to find a different way to get to it. Ah! I think I've found the other area. Problem is, this area seems big and open, and can I just drop down step to step? Yes, I can. Good. Right, so I'm back down in the area I do actually want to be in. And I don't see... Oh. I see that up there. Don't really want to cause trouble with that up there, because it murders me. All I want to do is... Ah! I think, actually, I happen to have fallen down in just the right spot. There we are. The airlock has now been unlocked and now I can get in and out nice and easy right here. Beautiful. And then we've got, oh, hello, excuse me, um, I assume something, no, I think something's gone way more wrong than I was anticipating here, which I'm pretty sure I'm actually now being, um, actually like, you know, something's attacking me. The question is what? What's attacking me and how do I flipping find it? Is that it? Where is it? Oh. I think that might be it. Yes. Oh god, is it that monstrosity? Has that thing just flipping followed me? Right. Charge it. Charge it. Charge it. Charge it. What the bloody hell are you? There you go, you up. Oh my goodness, you take literally no damage from anything, do you? Right, okay. And ouch. And ouch. Right. So one of those bastards is floating outside, and he can take shotguns to the face all day. Right, maybe we're just supposed to run away from that thing for now. So we've got the hatch here. Hatch needs to be blown, by all accounts. Okay. How do we blow the hatch, then? Can I just straight up... Oh, hang on. Ah, yes. Yes, it can be. Fine. I just need to literally blow these things off the hatch. Fine. Right, one more. And probably don't be in the way... There we are. So, we have now got the... Yeah, we've now removed the hatch. And now we've got to activate the manual escape pod launch. Which is done from inside, apparently. That irritatingly means I need to get back up to... 
yeah, that entrance right there. And one of those horrendous monstrosities, wherever that bloody massive robot thing is, it's going to start blasting the hell out of me again. But, yep, there it is. There it is, right flipping there. I hate you. I hate you so flipping much. But it's going away. It's facing away right now. Just get inside. Get inside before it sees you again. All right, just get, get in. Get in. Hurry up. Hurry it up. Oh, stay away from that thing. It's dangerous. And now, yep, yeah, the launch controls are exactly where I just was. I just need to make my way back over there. Problem is, the lift that I dropped down to get in here is not actually working. That means I need a different way up. And I see stairs there, but I think I see on the stairs one of you horrendous monstrosities. And I don't dare upset that because it will murder me. So, how exactly? Also, apparently there's just radiation down here. Right. How am I going to get back up? Given I can't... Ooh. Given I... I say given I can't, but... This might be an excellent time to learn how to glue. This is now the exterior of the lift shaft. So, I was around there, and now I'm around here. Warning. This is the exterior. There. If I can get up to there... That might be a good starting point. So, let's put a nice blob of glue right there. Climb up there. Let's put a nice blob of glue right there. And climb up there. Right. Now, now we're climbing. Good. Put a nice blob there. Climb on top of it. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, this is going to hurt. Bloody hell. Right. This is tricky to do. And I think I've just managed to... Yep. There we go. Right. So, till the power's fixed, yeah, that's that's a problem. But we've managed to do it. It means a lot to me that you did all that, despite Frank. I'm transmitting the location of something that could help. I couldn't get it off the station, but maybe it can help you. By an engineer or an operator. Alright. We have got ourselves something useful. Go on, tell me more about what the useful thing is. And it's- Oh! Oh, it's down there, is it? It's down in the flipping basement nearby to the- Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you so very, very much for leaving me a reward in the terrifying shuttle bay with the robot that murders me in the most dangerous middle level. I'm so thrilled. The reward is in there. And there is something very bad, very close by. So obviously, got my glue gun to fix this. Open this up. And then be very, very careful. Right, mechanic facilities. Unlock that. I feel like that's the right direction. Oh, you're an electric one then. Okay. God defeat a flipping boss. Oh, hang on. You've taken damage. Okay. Well, that's fine. You're dead now. Sneak attack for 150%. I'll take that. Reward. Five meters in that direction. Oh, literally. Is it on top of the... Is it literally on top of the thing here? Right. Create a nice staircase up top here. Nice staircase here. Okay. There we go. Yep, reward. Fine. I see it, but aha. Ha 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 ha. Yep. Yep. Now, what is it hidden? A note. Please deliver ASAP to P.O. Box 1127 in Fresno, California. This is a medical emergency. Your payment's already been transferred. We are both at risk taking this off the station. Please be discreet. I'm trusting you'll do the right thing. And inside we've got ourselves another note. Mom, I sent some special meds to help. Please follow the instructions carefully. I know you hate needles. Believe me, the neuromods can do miraculous things. I'll contact you soon. Remember not to mention any of this when communicating with me when I'm on Talos. Love you, Emanuela. Two neuromods. All of that for two neuromods. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe a good deed is its own reward. And it flipping better be because for two neuromods... Actually, you know what? Two neuromods is not bad. The thing is, the game in the early game kind of throws neuromods out. You can kind of try out some basic powers. But I'm guessing, you know what, as time goes by, they will actually be pretty bloody useful on an ongoing basis. So it's probably pretty good. And while we're here, we can also explore everything else. Pick up spare parts. Oh, thank goodness. And here we can activate the bloody graph shafts. 
Right, so you have to do the precarious climb this time. Now everything's okay. So you've just got another Neuromod just literally lying right here. Add glue cannon fabrication plan. That's if I need to make a new glue cannon. I feel like I'm not going to lose this one, to be honest. It's fine. And despite all my diligent eating and drinking, I think I'm ending once again with more flipping food than I started with. Because now, yeah. I'm pretty sure now I've got like... Oh, no. No, do not see me. Do not see me. <laughs> not fair. Not fair. Just sneak out of here. I don't want any trouble here. I don't want any trouble at all. Because you, whatever the hell you are, you are horrendous and I'm not fighting you. Me? I'm just going out of this lovely, lovely grav shaft that I've now turned back on. Because that's so much easier than having to bloody climb up the way. And over in the security office, yes indeed, the one person alive from this area is safe. I have rescued him, big damn hero, etc, etc. Marvellously good news. And better and better, we've got a flipping technical operator stand here, right here. Now that I know the big nasty thing is naffed off over there and is standing perfectly still. Hello, you, top up my armour. There we are, suits up to wear and tear, back up to full strength. I'm assuming that is like damage, like resistance? I think I haven't quite figured out how the damage is calculated in this game. But you know what? I'm happy. I've found a survivor, I've helped them, life is good. But you know what, I do actually have a plan for all those lovely neuromods. I think I know exactly what I want to do, in fact. So, over here to my neuromod screen, and uh, yeah, I know what I want to do. Materials expert, because it's the only way to get lab tech one up. Lab tech one, beautiful. Because that means over in my inventory, I can now use all these weapon repair kits for their truly intended purpose. And that is getting the glue cannon to be as good as possible. Yep, incapacitation rate up to 150. Lovely. And I get up to 180 or, yeah, the handling, the range or the... No, let's maximise the incapacitation rate as quickly as possible. Can't quite max it. To max it, I'd need to take another perk. I'd need to take lab tech too. But... For the time being, that is going to make my glue cannon vastly, vastly better. Oh yes, that. That is going to be just the flipping thing. Now, just the slightest dab of Pritt stick and everything will just freeze solid and I am thrilled. Now, final door I know I can open with this thing. Crack open this door here. There we are. In psychotronics we go. Got a safe here as well. Ah, level 2 safe. I like a good level 2 safe. Can handle that. The only problem with this hacking minigame is the difficulty is completely seemingly random. Sometimes it's incredibly simple, and sometimes it seems like it's almost impossible. Like that one was incredibly easy. The one before it, I don't think I could really have done. Ooh, was that flipping? Four neuromods just for having hacking two. Four neuromods for hacking two, when doing that entire quest, going into the shuttle bend, saving that woman and that guy, got me only two flipping neuromods. I think there's a bit of a balance issue there. You know what? Lock up the safe. Why not? There we are, nice and locked up. In which case, looks to me like we're probably heading into the guts area, aren't we? A maximum security area. Yeah, this feels bad. Right. Okay. Things just got interesting, in fact. So, January now says that past me wanted to blow up the station, but there's a different past me, December, who decides they want to escape the station instead. And hasn't life just got a little bit interesting as a result? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next time- Oh, there's going to be a next time. Now I want to know what's going on with December versus January. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I've lived my life so many times that I came to different conclusions. And sometimes I came to the conclusion, oh, we've got to burn it all down and even I've got to die. And sometimes I came to the decision, you know what? We've just got to escape. I can escape and it's fine. So, we'll need to decide which of these two people we actually trust more. So, escape pod key into the guts. Who knows? Maybe a little bit of both. That will be coming up soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I hope you has been many a true note. And this has been prey. Oh, I'm loving this. This is good. This, this is a strong contender for my game of the year. To be honest, like, right now, it's head and shoulders above anything else I would have considered. Unless something massively surprises me, 
It's kind of up to Red Dead 2 to unseat Prey as my game of the year. That's how much I'm enjoying this right now. So, more soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. It's been many a trader, and this has been the absolutely exceptional Prey. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I can also just take this person to make them female. Can I just... <laughs> Perfect. I'm delighted we share the same level of ambition. Complete mediocrity all of the way. And then, oh, oh, the people at the back just kind of popped into existence there for a second. Okay, let's try this again with something else. I'm going to see if we can get Mr. Potato Head into this game.